AI and Microsoft Copilot. Two things that have emerged and complement each other. IC Technology in collaboration with Microsoft has invited Brainsplat Podcast to cover the live conference on Microsoft Copilot and artificial intelligence, so stay tuned. It's a good startup for the new financial year. A great relationship with Microsoft and it's building up. What are we doing, doing today? So today, what? everyone's talking about AI. We've we'll put an event together around Copilot. So I'm going to go through the functions of Copilot, return on investment, how it's going to benefit businesses and the security around it. The why Microsoft's Copilot is very important versus using ChatGPT in the public domain and how you can protect your data and still get all the benefits of AI. Excellent. So I see technology is growing. It's getting more focus on AI and new technology, obviously. Um, what is your message to your customers and to the market overall? Be an what, earlier. what should they expect from you? Be an early adopter. We're here to support you. Make sure your 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 data secure. Make sure that you're getting all the benefits out of AI, but also protecting your data. Excellent. So you guys are ready for it. So you've been trained and you've got all the we're system in place. We're going to do some live demos today. That's my laptop sitting up there, and we'll be we'll showing you it working, installed, and functioning. Excellent. All the best. Thank you. Okay, so why are we here today? We're here today to learn about artificial intelligence and the value it brings to businesses. Primarily about businesses who really need to think about how their information can be secure. Uh, there's been a lot of challenges. You might have heard about people using uh, consumer AI products yep. and their information is leaked. We'll talk about some of that today. So it's not just give them access to everything and hope for the best. You know, we've got the insurance, we've got the right processes in place, we can very quickly on board, all off board somewhere to project the data. So just to recap, and we'll get into the fun stuff. So ID security, identity security is really important. So enter AD, which used to be Azure AD, if anyone doesn't get taken. So we work with in our business, never ever leave our business. They stay in the business. So that's that service boundary around the subscription on the left hand side. Whilst it still uses the same large language model, you might have heard of OpenAI, ChatGPT or ChatGPT 4.0, it still uses the same brain, but the brain doesn't remember any of that information. What that does is put inside these sorts of applications, special little buttons, which enable you then to go in Word and say, inspire me around how I implement whatever it might be. Write me a, a story about, and it will write that story in word for you. Okay, hi. So you've been a customer for IC Technology for a while now. Do you mind just telling us about your experience with them overall? Yeah, of course. Yeah, so, so far we are happy with IC technology because um, we start well, working with IC technology uh, roughly about three, four years ago. Uh, we started with when we had the ransomware uh, and it attacked us and we lost all of our servers. And IC technology came on board and helped us to set up uh, our new servers on cloud, our network and we just growing up. Not, um, before we have roughly just about eight, seven branches, and after three years, now we have fifteen branches. Excellent. So today you attended this conference, and IC Technology, with the support of Microsoft, they did a presentation <laughs> presentation on Copilot, Microsoft Copilot. What was your takeout today from this presentation? You know what? Just before I step out here and get this in interview with you, I already made a decision that tonight I'm going to give it a try with the uh, Copilot. Because we are already using um, Office 365 since, yes, roughly the same time when we when IC Technology came on board. And now when we all get familiar with that, and to be honest, ChatGPT is really popular so far. But uh, Microsoft Copilot, I didn't know that much about it. And in the conference today, I got a lot of information. And it's quite very in interesting to me. And I think it's going to be very helpful for our business. So you've been a customer with IC technology for a long time now. 
what was your experience overall with them and how do you rate them as a provider for your business? Look, I represent a school, I'm the principal of a school. The school I'm at, uh, we've more recently brought over IC technology, but in my previous school, at my previous appointment, we had them for a very long time, so I dealt with them from a business perspective for well over a decade, and it has always been a relationship based on people culture. And that's really the big draw card of IC technology. It's not purely transactional, it's about reaching out to the core values of each other. And Look, as a father, I'm really scared of AI. I panic, I have three boys, and I'm not sure how I can control them in the future. You as a principal, what are you facing with all this revolution in technology now? It's a tremendous question, and thank you for the opportunity to provide some feedback. Like all things which are new, there's a lot of fear, there's a lot of uncertainty. And as we evolve and as we learn to grow with these new technologies, we become more confident in the way we apply the technology. So from my perspective, and what I taught parents at my school, and certainly students and our staff, if you ground the people we work with, the people we live with in strong values, regardless of what tool they use, whether it's AI or something else, they'll use it correctly. This society, what was your take out today, AI and Microsoft Copilot with, with relationship to IC technology? What was your major take-out today? My major take-out of today is that Copilot, potentially, in an era of teacher shortages and in an era of teacher burnout, can significantly reduce the amount of paperwork which teachers do outside of the classroom. And if we can achieve that for teaching teams in different schools across our city, across the country, across the globe, then teachers can focus on teaching, bring out the best in their students, rather than getting bogged down behind a device. For me, that's the biggest take home that I've taken away from this here. I also like the tool which enables my own files, the data I have, to very quickly be converted into emails and presentations. Currently, that takes up a lot of my time. My time is not used very efficiently. So it would make a personal difference to the way I go about my duties in running the school. It's an opportunity too because it stores that and it brings out that information for specific tasks as they need it. At the moment, that could take many, many, many hours. But in those demonstrations, provided you do the correct prompting, and of course, trial and error and a bit of practice, 100%. what is taking a few hours can potentially come down to a few minutes. That's a big take home for me. Fantastic. Your relationship with IC technology, obviously yeah. it's growing and expanding. How do you see your relationship overall with your partners and specifically with IC technology? Well, I might start with the broader partners. Microsoft depends on partners. We don't do events like this without partners. So I really want to thank ICT technology as an example of that, of who's putting an event like this and talking to this lovely audience today and educating them on the, the business side of AI. Um, their partnership actually works through Leader Systems, who's one of our distribution partners in country. And as I say, we we 96% of all Microsoft business goes through partners. We don't work directly with customers. Okay. So obviously you're the sales manager and you're yes. looking after a bunch of salespeople or Absolutely. mainly consultants who assist customers in responding to what their needs are. Yeah. Do you want to talk a bit about your team? Sure. Uh, my name's Ahmed. I'm the sales leader at Technology. Uh, so I've got a team of four account managers. Uh, they're all specialized in their own separate ways. So the way we do things is we've got our customer port. We uh, contact our existing clients. If you guys need any help, give us a call, reach out to us could be at sales at IC technology or info IC technology. Uh, you guys are very excited. We're working with Microsoft very closely. Uh, we're very excited to bring you new products and the new features to you. So in addition to Microsoft Copilot, obviously you have a suite of products that you assist your customer with. Sure. Do you want to tell us a bit more about your suite of products? Absolutely. The suite of products is quite large, so I don't know if I'm going to have enough time. Just to name one or two. Uh, we look after cyber security plans. We look after network hardness. Uh, we look after your onboarding and offboarding. Uh, we look after your client engagement. We also look after marketing. So if you have a team that or you have some aspirations of reaching out to your customer base, we can help you with that. We also do your day ticketing systems as well. Steve, um, another milestone for IC technology this year. Microsoft Copilot is playing a major role in your environment. Yes. You, can you tell us a bit more about that from your perspective, from an operational point of view? Yes, so um, the good thing about Copilot and uh, 
helping businesses understand it and helping them integrate it into their businesses is that we can also train and attend to their support requirements and give them a good understanding of how they can utilize Copilot extensively and maximize uh, areas of their business that they've never been aware of before. Uh, so what is the future of Microsoft from your, from your point of view? Where is this market heading really? Well, we've got five big programs for this year anyway. I can talk about that. One of those big programs is what we're talking about today, which is the co-pilots, which are assistants in business to help you become more productive and creative. Other areas that we're putting a lot of time and energy in is around traditional artificial intelligence in manufacturing, predictive maintenance, quality control, you know, simple things like improving the quality of the pizza by having a camera make sure the right amount of pepperoni and is on it. So the next with, area with is security. Pilot itself, are you satisfied with the results so far? Like, yeah, is this what you were expecting market-wise? Unbelievable. And in Australia, the adoption rate of AI has been incredible.